Hello and welcome to Eldora Speedway here in Ohio, the second race of World Race Series 2022. Today, we're running a dirt race on the Big E. This half mile oval dirt track is owned by Tony Stewart and has been host to some of the greatest dirt racing since the 1950s and some NASCAR truck series races. Today, we'll be running dirt late model race cars for 26 laps. These dirt late model cars are very similar in weight and handling to stock cars. So we're looking for the drivers that had success on dirt and oval tracks back in 2020 to really shine today. As you can see behind the stats, the drivers run practice laps before the race to get acclimated with the dirt and the race cars. Some are faster than others, and some are putting down some surprising lap times. So far, Matso, the Bandit, and Lucky Tito are the three fastest drivers out there. We're also running a three-stage race, much like current NASCAR racing. The first and second stages are six laps, and the final stage will be a mad dash for the win with 14 laps. On the pole for today is Action Star, who finished in last place last week. But per the World Race Series rules, the finishing order for the first race would be reversed to make the starting order for this race. The little special quirk for this race is that each stage winner gets an additional 20 bonus points, meaning 60 bonus points in total are up for grabs and that this race win is worth 260 points total. And also, the finishing order has no effect on the next race, as normal qualifying will resume. So now on to the drivers. We have Action Star, starting on the pole for today. The first of his career and earned, rather ironically. Hopefully he can use this to his advantage and turn his season around, as he's currently last in points. The downtown dominator starting in second. He had a bad day at Catalonia, but he's a favorite to win today due to his championship caliber performance back in 2020. Crucifix rounds out the podium starting third. She was never that good at dirt racing, but she did put on a show last year in the Drift Championship, so maybe she could use that expertise here. Ink is starting fourth today, after falling hard in race one. Maybe she can put on a much better show today. And here's Matzo, one of the faster cars in practice. He won at Dahlonega in 2020 on a half dirt road course, so maybe that can translate here. If he performs well here, we may have on our hands a dirt specialist in the World Race Series. Metalhead starts in sixth. He ran well for part of the day last week, but fell hard after pit cycles. Maybe his starting position can help him today though. The only problem is that he was as slow as a truck in practice. The Bandit starting in seventh in the 77. They were the fastest car in practice and would have probably won the pole if we were doing normal qualifying. They also won the pole at Talladega back in 2020. I don't think super speedway racing translates well to dirt tracking, but they are both ovals, so there may be something to it. Starting eighth, we have Big Willie. He struggled last week, but ran tough, taking back 16th place in the last lap after running on the cusp of the top 15 all day. Maybe his starting position can help him grab his fourth win today. Matt Jack starts in ninth today. He was really fast in the first half of the Catalonia race, and he is the World Race Series alleged drift king, so maybe he can slide job his way into a victory. Canyon Carl starts 10th today, still looking for his first win. I personally think he'll struggle today, as he's used to running all-wheel drive cars and having all four wheels firmly planted on the pavement, but we'll see how well he adapts. Night Runner starts 11th. After a harsh second half to the Catalonia race, he finished in 11th, taking the middle spot in the field. So of all drivers, the reverse finishing order really didn't affect him at all. He also won at Talladega in 2020, so maybe it can help him here. The Sheepster starts 12th, driving the White Knight. She's had her own difficulty driving on dirt, but maybe she can surprise us today. Woof Air starts 13th. She's still looking for her second win, but maybe she can dig hard today and get it. Crispy starts 14th. She had a great race last week, even though they fell hard on the first lap. They regained a few spots to finish 8th. Switchback starts 15th today. I don't know how she'll race on dirt, but keep an eye on her as she is a very good drifter. EJ the DJ starts 16th today. He had an awesome first World Race Series start last week, finishing 5th, but he was very slow in practice and he starts far back due to his great performance last week, so his chances are quite low to win this race as we can see it now. Big Ed, who led a lap last week on strategy, starts 17th. He is the 2020 Series Champion. Even though he didn't run so good for half the events that year, maybe that expertise can at least come into play here and he can grab a second win. Lucky Tito was extremely fast in practice today, driving that fire pink car. Unfortunately, he starts very far back due to his third place finish last week. The same goes for the president, who unfortunately starts in 19th. He won a drift event last year though, so that could help today. At the tail end of the full-time drivers is the Owl, last week's winner. Unfortunately, she's at a huge disadvantage today, starting 20th, but hopefully that victory can give her the motivation and focus to go on and at least do well today, but we'll have to see. Now for the part-timers, 
These drivers did do a small qualifying session, so amongst these four drivers, the fastest starts highest, with Cowboy starting 21st. He won his first start back in 2020 on a dirt track, not unlike Eldora. He could pull something off today, but I think he's just looking to have a little fun. He's also driving for MGA Racing, a small team fielding only him part-time this year. Next up is Bobber, driving part-time for another small team, Desert Motorsports. She struggled in the World Race Series in the past, but maybe she can turn that around in this one-off start. Starting behind her is her husband, Ranch Hand, also driving for Desert Motorsports. The final driver for today is a part-timer fielded by the Wolfpack, Trailblazer, who returns for a part-time start right here in 2022. Unfortunately, she continues her trend of poor performance that we saw in 2021, qualifying in last. But who knows, maybe she'll get a handle on that race car as the day goes on. And so that's the 24 driver field for today's World Race Series Dirt Late Model Race at Eldora. And before we start, I want to mention that we'll be following one driver throughout this race, a hero car, much like Hepatel in 2018's Christmas Special and the Night Runner in 2020's Talladega Special. That driver will be Matzo, as of the big hopefuls to win this race, he starts the farthest up in the field. So now that that's out of the way, without further ado, let's get to racing. It's going to be one hot night tonight at Eldora. And the green flag is out. Action star leading dominated crucifix Ink and Matzo. Into the first turn, Matzo hits the rear crucifix, but no speed loss. Number three wide into turn two. Dominator and Ink are neck to neck. Meanwhile, the Bandit swoops down low, passing Matchak and taking fifth spot for Matzo. Bandit passes Crucifix. Matchak goes down low, but can't pass Matzo. And Matzo swoops down to pass three cars in one. Talk about threading the needle. He's up to second position. Action Star still up there leading. He's trying to redeem himself for finishing last in Catalonia. Meanwhile, Crucifix has fallen back to eighth. Metalhead to twelfth, Dominator to fifth. Bandit has also now taken third position. Matzo goes low to pass Action Star, but has to check up to avoid hitting him. And Matchak passes in for fourth. Cannon Carl is now up to sixth. Matzo is trying everything to get to Action Star, inside and outside, but Action Star is following a pretty clean line. Bandit, meanwhile, gains slowly on both of them. And they touch, but they save it. And into the next turn, Matzo is in the lead. And Matzo tries hugging the inside line like a madman to pass action to start. And on the outside, action star is a better exit. Takes it back. We now are on lap six, the last lap of stage one. Who's gonna get those bonus points? Action star is still leading as the bandit goes low to pass Matzo. Action Star still leading as the Bandit goes low to pass Matzo. Matzo hangs on the outside. Who's going to take second spot? And it's Matzo. Matzo holds off Bandit for a second position for the restart. And Action Star is our stage one winner here at Eldora. Wow, what a race, folks. It's been one hell of a ride so far. Bandit, Matzo, and the Action Star all have really good cars today. Either one of them could win when it's all said and done. Ken and Carl has made his way all the way up to fourth. Matchak and Ink have really good cars, too. Lucky Tito has also made his way through the pack from 18th position to 8th. But Wolfair, Big Willie, and Big Ed are all running good races in the top 15 as well. Meanwhile, Crucifix, Dominator, and Metalhead have fallen greatly since the green flag. We are now coming to the green flag after running one lap on caution. Action Star leading, followed by Matzo, Bandit, Cannon Carl, and Matchak. Bandit goes low to pass Matzo on the inside. And in the first turn, Ken and Carl taps Matzo in the rear and goes three wide with Matchak and Ink. Matchak passes Ken and Carl. Lucky Tito now up to seventh. Matzo passes the Bandit on the inside into turn three. And also Action Star on the inside. Action Star with the crossover to take the lead back. It would seem he has it. Matzo back to the inside on the backstretch. He passes him once again. But Action Star trying to cross over again, but he hits Matzo's rear quarter panel. 
Action Star is still the inside. Then Matzo hits the wall. He keeps it going, though. He manages to hold his position, but he did save off some speed there. Matzo goes to the inside to repair the pass again. Then they touch. And he's by. Matzo with a clean pass on the inside. Now Matzo goes to the outside. A clean track in front of him. I think that's where he's fastest and where he wants to run. Now he approaches lap traffic as lap 12 begins. The last lap of stage two. Matzo now has a handsome lead on Bede and that can start back there. There you have Krusevic right there, running 20th behind Cowboy. She's falling greatly from her third place start. And there you have it. That's a win stage two as Bandit passes Akin Star behind him. So far, a good race. Switchback is now in the top ten, Lucky Tito up to sixth. So far, good races for a lot of drivers who ran well at Catalonia. And we now come to the green for stage three. And Matzo gets a good start ahead of Bandit, who now runs second. Matzo's still running the top side in clean air, rubbing the wall most of the time. But it's where he's fastest. Action Star tries desperately to pass Bandit, but just can't do it. And now as we begin lap 16 and a long green flag run, we'll now cut to commercial for a short message. When it's 120 degrees on the track, and it feels like 300 in the suit, there's only one way to drink the Coca-Cola one liter. Ice cold. When people hear the Hendrick Motorsports team switch to Quaker State last year, they'll probably think Quaker State wrote us a big check. Well, that's not how it happened. First, it had to pass our camshaft test. Then it had to pass our dyno test. Then it had to pass a track test. <laughs> then they wrote us the big check. Quaker State for a clean running engine. And we're back. It's lap 21 as Matzo moves through lap traffic. Bandit still holds second over Acrostar. Ink bested Matt Jack for fourth, and Cannon Carl is now falling to seventh. The Owl, last week's winner, is also now within the top 15. A good day for her. There, Matzo passes the president, running 19th, having a pretty bad race overall. Matzo is getting slower, struggling with lap traffic, not giving an inch. But the Bandit and Acrostar are very far behind him at this point. No sweat. Matzo passes Ranch Hand, running 17th curve. Best part-time driver on the track right now. Matzo just passed the Owl, who was running 13th curve. And he approaches Crispy in 12th. Running a good race, but now about to be a lap down. They're not going easy, though. And finally, Bob. And the white flag is out. Matzo leads on the final lap. And there's the Sheeps here in the number three, running a good, clean race. And running through the final turn, Matzo, a winner in the last two World Race Series seasons, is going to win here on the dirt at Eldora. What a race, folks, and a well-deserved win for Matzo, his third victory all time. And now for Matzo's victory burnout, 
He's made history today, winning an event in three consecutive seasons. Three races have been won back to back by a driver, and drivers have won in two consecutive seasons, but never in three. Winning at Dahlonega in 2020 and winning his drift duel at Hockenheim last year. He ran a good race and battled hard to come out on top today. And oh, it looks like he celebrated a little too hard. It would appear the engine has expired on his race car. We've seen cars not start before a victory burnout, but never going out during it. Well, good thing he won't be needing that car anymore, but I don't think Tony Stewart will be happy. And as you can see, here's the finishing order. Matzo wins the race and collects 40 bonus points to end the day with 280 points. The Bandit ran a good race, besting Action Star for second, while Action Star gets some much needed points for his championship run, also collecting 20 bonus points for a stage 1 win. Incan Machek also gets some much needed points rounding out the top 5. Lucky Tito was the highlight for today though, coming up through the field from 18th to finish 6th. If there was a 4th stage, he probably would have won it all. Him and Switchback are the only drivers so far to have finished in the top 10 in every race. The Dominator fell from a 2nd place start, but still finished in 9th. Like many other drivers, he got some much needed points today. This will be a trend mostly due to the reverse starting order. The Sheepshear ran a good race, finishing in 11th while the Owl finished in 13th. Not as good as a win like last week, but a pretty good finish considering she started at the very back due to the reverse starting order, meaning she just might still be in the championship hunt after today. For when we return to normal qualifying for the third race. Ranch Hand is the highest finishing part-timer today at 17th. The part-timers didn't really make much noise in this race compared to last week. Cowboy, who had big hopes coming into this one, finished in 19th. And the other part-timers, Bobber and Trailblazer, filled the last two spots on the leaderboard. The Wolfpack drivers are really having a tough time this year. Metalhead and Krusevich, who started 6th and 3rd respectively, fell way outside of the top 15. Pretty much where they finished last week, meaning they'll be having a tough time winning a championship moving forward. The President, who finished 2nd last week, also finishes badly in 21st. But hopefully this is just a fluke, and it can be explained that his niche just isn't dirt racing, and next week he'll be back up running in the top 5 again. EJ the DJ, also in his second ever start, had a depressing finish of 22nd after an impressive top 5 finish last week. And now, on to the championship standings. Lucky Tito leads the point setting so far, without a win over the two drivers who have won a race this season though. He's just been awfully consistent, and was good enough today to overcome the reverse starting order. An impressive season so far for him. The Owl, our winner from last season, comes up 20 points short. After finishing 13th today though, she's still in the hunt. Matzo also gets a huge points gain, tied with Switchback, only edging her out as he has a win. This should be an immense shot in the arm for him after his 19th place finish last week. He's also the only Wisconsin Motorsports driver within the top 10 in points. As you can see, it's been a good season for Common Motorsports, with all three drivers inside the top 5, within Big Ed rounding it off in 5th. Crispy in 6th also having a good season, with some respectable finishes in both races. The Bandit, after a bad finish last week, rebounds with a 2nd place finish to take 7th spot in the championship standings. Matchak also running pretty good this season, now making it into the top 10 in points. Cannon Carl also moves up 5 spots with a 7th place finish this week. Sheepster rounds out the top 10, tying with Cannon Carl's 300 points. The President falls from 2nd spot to 11th due to a terrible finish today, but of course it's mostly owed to the reverse finishing order. You could say the same about Woof Air, who is now tied with the president at 270. Big Willie is tied with Ink. Ink is also getting a much needed shot in the arm this week, but didn't finish high enough to have as big of a point total as others. Action Star also moves from last on the point standings to 15th after finishing 3rd today. EJ the DJ falls from 5th to 16th, just a bad day for him but he has enough points to maybe turn it around if he does well in the next two races. Nightrunner is having a bad season so far too, finishing outside the top 10 in both races, but with one good day over the next four races, he could turn it around. Dominator also getting some much needed points after a terrible performance last week, but still not enough to make a big difference. Meanwhile, Metalhead and Crucifix, the two Wolfpack drivers are having a terrible season so far, and it'll take a win for them to turn it around. Even after the finishing order was reversed, they still managed to lose it all and finish far back in the pack. They fill up the last two slots in points and are actually behind Miss Shortcut in points. And Miss Shortcut is a part-time driver, so that's just sad. As far as the teams go, Comet Motorsports seems to be a cut above the rest, and Legend Racing has almost all of their cars within the top 10, consistently 
putting up good results and leading the points as of now. Midnight and Sunset also have some drivers within the top 10 and are just in reach of being up there in the hunt. While Wisconsin Motorsports, outside of Matzo's win today, is having a not so good season. Meanwhile, Downtown Racing and the Wolfpack need to really step it up if they want to rise on the standings. And Midnight Motorsports in particular, they're just all over the place. They have four drivers on their team, the most of any team currently, with two just barely within the top 10, and the other two underperforming in at least one race. So really apart from Comet and Legend, it's really up in the air as to who could make a run at the championship by season's end. And perhaps if someone could win it all without even winning a race, it's hard, but not impossible. Meanwhile, it's clear Wolfpack and DTR are all the clear losers so far this season. We'll see how it turns out as the season goes on. And with that, this race day is concluded. It's been a good night of racing tonight, and next week, we return to the international stage to run some retro 1990s stock cars at a mystery location not in the United States. And until then, I hope you have a good night. Now it's time for me to see if I can find me a place to eat in this town that is more than two stars.